Hi everyone, welcome to a new smartphone review. This time I'm going to show you guys the Sony Xperia Z, the new flagship model of Sony and the first one without the Ericsson brand. Let's have a look at the smartphone. On the top side of the Sony Xperia Z you of course have a front facing 2 megapixel camera, another sensor and of course a microphone for your audio dialogues. On the top side you have a plug-in for a headset that is covered by a piece of plastic of course that you can remove and of course you have to close this again to make sure your smartphone is waterproof. On the right side you have your connection for your SIM card. You also have the power button and the volume button. Of course you also have a speaker. On the bottom you don't have any button or plugs but you have a code that represents the brand. On the other side you have an SD card slot, micro SD card slot and also some connections for example to power up your smartphone to a docking station. On the back side of your smartphone you have a 13 megapixel camera, a light, another sensor and of course the Xperia brand with some other codes. We should stress that this smartphone is extremely sensitive to fingerprints. The Sony Xperia Z has front and back side of dragon tail glass, but of course if you drop it on a hard surface it isn't unbreakable. It isn't the same as the Gorilla Glass from for example Samsung Galaxy S4, but it is again very scratch resistant. If we take a look at the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean OS from the Xperia Z, you will immediately see that it has an Xperia layer on top of it. It is out of the box Jelly Bean 4.1 and it will get an update with 4.2 in the near future. The Xperia Z has no fixed buttons, but it uses the Android home button, back button and uh, for one for active apps that you have open. You also have a nice quick button for, for example, opening a calculator. If you press the power button on the right side you and you keep it pressed for a while, you get a quick display, for example, to put your phone in silent mode, power it off, take a screenshot or even take a quick picture. The camera of the Sony Xperia Z is very very good, one of the best we've seen so far and also the screen is very bright and with vivid colors. It has very good viewing angle if you are facing the front side of the camera but kinda loses a lot of colors when you look at it from the side. But again I guess 90% of most smartphone users will always look at their smartphone from the normal angle. For video options you get a lot of extras, for example you can add some photo effects or film effects when you're taking a picture, but again it is not as uh, elaborate as we have seen with the introduction of the Galaxy S4 from Samsung which has a lot more gimmicks, but again the hardware of this Xperia Z phone is pretty impressive. With this 1.5 MHz processor, it is one of the fastest so far on the market. Only the Samsung Galaxy S4 promises a 1.9 MHz quad-core processor and the HTC One also has a little faster processor. But again, I don't think you will feel this right away, this difference. The Walkman app on the Sony Xperia Z is one of the most important apps for most people. It also, of course displays your music and makes sure you get a good audio experience while taking a train ride or jogging. The album app of course displays your pictures and makes you scroll with them with ease without any delays. The movies app is 
really impressive with the Xperia Z. You can easily drag and drop a new movie on the SD card or on the internal storage of the phone and watch it on the beautiful 5 inch full HD screen. The Sony Xperia Z also have an NFC connection which can connect you to Smart Connect with a lot of other Sony devices. In the future you will be able to connect them with several Bravia TVs to NFC so you can display your own movies on a large TV screen. But of course you can already connect them to other accessories like an audio speaker which easily connects through the NFC connection with pressing against the speaker. Games will also be easily playable on the Sony Xperia Z because it has one of the best processors on the market so far. The 5 inch screen will display your game with ease. The power management mode is one of the most important features of the Sony Xperia Z. The first couple of days that we used this phone we were really annoyed by the low battery life of the phone. But after two weeks of intense use we experienced a better battery life than the first couple of days. But as you can see the screen is still one of the most power consuming items of the phone. When you're a power user and for example watch a couple of hours of videos on your phone while on the train or something else or on a plane you will probably need an extra power cable with you. Another impressive item of the Sony Xperia Z is that it is IP57 waterproof so you can easily dump it in a glass of water or even in your swimming pool for 60 minutes. Sony promises that your Sony Xperia Z will stay waterproof for at least 60 minutes under 1 meter of water if you don't dive too deep and of course if you don't open any of the plastic covers. This is also mentioned several times when you open the for example the headset plug on the top. When you close it again you will get display message that you have to close the plastic cover or your phone will not be waterproof anymore. The speakers are covered with some sort of water resistant material so your smartphone will definitely stay waterproof and no water will seep through the speaker holes for at least 60 minutes that is. If you compare the Sony Xperia Z with one of its predecessors the Sony Xperia S you will immediately see that the screen got a lot larger of course. We should mention that the screen on the Sony Xperia Z was set on automatic mode so it isn't as bright as the Sony Xperia S on the left but we should stress that it is possible to do this so. More important to mention is that the Sony Xperia Z is a lot thinner than the Sony Xperia S. The Sony Xperia Z is 139mm long, 71mm wide and 7.9mm thick. This means that it is a really thin smartphone, it really doesn't make you feel that you have carrying a big phone, especially when it's only 146 grams. To sum it up, the plus sides of the Sony Xperia Z are its 5 inch TFT screen with 60 million colors and full HD resolution. It only weighs of 146 grams and it is also only 7.9 9 millimeters thick. It is also very durable because it is dust and waterproof. It also has a 1.5 GHz Qualcomm quad-core Snapdragon processor which is one of the fastest processors on the market today. The 13 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash is very very good and we have created some nice pictures and videos with it so far. One of the downsides of the camera is it has a poor battery life when you use the screen a lot. And another downside is it has a bad viewing angle from the sides or the top when you watch the screen. But again, it is a very premium smartphone that I recommend to everyone.